We're at Finnovate still during the lunch break, so it's in London on the 7th of February. I'm with Michael. How are you doing, Michael? Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, very good, yeah. Um, you had a great time on stage? Uh, yeah, it was very interesting, very interesting. Uh, stepping in for uh, our friends at uh, iBroker to uh, help present their great product, uh, Stock Battle, that's uh, just recently launched. It's soon to be live to the market. So which is one of your, uh, in your investment portfolio, right? It's one investment. Yeah, okay, cool. so uh, iBroker is part of Fido Bank and uh, we are uh, investing in Fido. So I saw Matthias so, uh, on your screen today, like using the, yeah, the game. <laughs> no, it's kind of a problem, yeah. Uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's very famous and well-known in the industry. What about gamification, yeah. making investment fun? So what is iBroker in a, in a few words? Yeah, so I, mean, I think essentially iBroker, particularly with Stock Battle, is a way in which you can actually engage a social uh, user base to learn more about the interface with financial services. So effectively, uh, I don't necessarily have to be somebody that follows the market at a very granular level, but I can maybe have a view about currency movement or general market movement. I can make a decision, I can write an option, and quite simply, a counterparty could then take the alternative view and against my stake, put their stake in, and the winner takes on less the commission. Yeah, you showed you did a demonstration. I remember so uh, seeing that uh, Matthias showed it to me quite a while ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how long? When did you launch it? It's at least so six to eight months ago, no? Yeah. So Alpha kind of uh, beginning development. In Germany. Product. Yeah. It was, it was then we've been in beta for probably about probably three months now. For three months. Uh, ago. We're quite in the process of uh, doing the full English translation, and once okay. that's kind of done, then it's uh, this thing has 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 wings. Matthias showed me the project long time ago, maybe before the beta aspect, but. Uh, uh, Okay, so what's next then for the service? Because it's very, it touches a very uh, interesting topic, which again is gamification, making investment more exciting and uh, accessible to uh, more people. So what are you after now? What's the strategy uh, maybe outside Germany? Yeah, absolutely. So international expansion is going to be key. Uh, you know, investments, gaming, gambling, uh, you know, is an international commodity that uh, a lot of people like to partake in at all levels. Uh, so I think getting this international is going to be critical. Uh, I think the way to do that that we're currently looking at is through uh, partnerships, so particularly around perhaps other financial service providers that are in this space, uh, using the product or the platform as a plug-in to offering uh, engaging social services to their customers. So think of an investment bank currently having a, a number of reputational issues because of the credit crunch, actually coming out with a useful product that you and I, Joe Public, can use every day. So I think that would be interesting to see how it develops, but of course, how things can maybe a little slightly ahead of uh, where the market's at. So they would use your platform with your name, basically, you, you and you would partner? Optional. I think all things are on the table. Uh, right. uh, Potentially, you could white-label yeah, it absolutely. as well? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. And you're not looking for part other financial partners in Germany, right? Because you're using it through uh, Fedor. Using it through Fedor, but again, I think uh, at this stage... So you can open as well at that stage. Uh, all conversations are free in life, apart from the cost of coffee, right? Okay, no, fair enough, yeah. Uh, we talked about gamification, investment. What about um, using gamification and reaching out to people out Outside the platform, do you have any widgets? I mean, how, how does it work? I mean, the Facebook, for instance. Yeah. So the, the Facebook element of that is where it becomes really interesting because you know I'm sure when you talk to a lot of the bank types here today, they're all saying that social engagement is on top of their list of priorities. That's correct. But as I alluded to in uh, the short pitch that we had, you know, social engagement in the financial service environment is not about saying we have a fan page, please like us. You know, at the end of the day, people like to like. You know, the bottom line is people are a product of what they do and not what they say they do. And this is a tool that enables you to have real interactions in a social environment with a customer base. So I think uh, the Facebook uh, application is very interesting because you may, as a counterpart to me, just be in my social network, never trade in your life, but you just want to trade against me because you're that type of guy. You know, you think that if I have one opinion, you'll take another. And it spreads, so it's quite viral in, in nature. So can you see almost Facebook being, uh, you know, um, the catalyst? to increase brand awareness for the yeah, platform? I think, absolutely. I think it would be an important um, network, as we all know it already is, but certainly from a financial services product point of view, you know, one where actually you're invited into the engagement uh, loop rather than you know, forcing yourself upon it. And I think that's a key distinction between where a lot of companies are, not just financial services, but in general, where they think they kind of have a right to interfere in your uh, social conversation when you know, ultimately you should be invited into that. Oh, yeah. 
one of the last questions then. I remember like uh, Matthias sending me an email like months ago, very proudly saying that the German authority, I think regulators, uh, identified that as a financial product or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, what about regulations? Is it a, a problem or a challenge to overcome outside Germany? No, or I it's mean, not a problem so, at all? So I think given the market where it is today, there's a positive connotation between uh, of having uh, being financially regulated entity out of Germany. You know, so that's sort of one of the most important things that most companies would and people would look at at the moment, given the strength of the German economy. But equally, what's interesting is that most people look at this as a gaming product, but actually, as you, as you mentioned, it's actually a financially regulated product out of Barfing. So on that basis, what makes it interesting is that people are, you know, actually into, you know, playing with something here that is, you know, acceptable to a degree. So, uh, you know, rather than bet on the horses, why not bet on the stock? That's acceptable, apparently. Yeah, I guess that if it works in Germany, which is uh, by reputation one of the yeah. toughest, you know, markets in terms of regulation and uh, everything in security, that yeah. should be a good testimony uh, yeah. to the service. Yeah. Absolutely. Germany's got a fantastically advanced uh, e-commerce and digital environment to, to launch these types of services. Yeah. You know, it's a leading financial uh, centre in terms of old world, but if then you can see with someone like Fedor and iBroker mm. in the emerging world as well. But equally, coming out of uh, uh, coming out of that registry environment, consumers are looking for more trust. And, you know, just creating great front-end PFM tools that have no regulatory framework around. Them, over time, could be susceptible to uh, a bearing down of teeth from the established market. They try and gain a little bit of hold. So, I think having the foundation of regulation is probably the most critical thing. Most financial services companies uh, innovating today would oh, yeah. be very well. That's great, yeah. That's his window bar, yeah. Um, well, uh, so investors or uh, people interested in the platform, please uh, connect with Michael and check all the details on my blog. Thank you, Michael. Uh, good luck for today. Best wishes for 2012 and uh, see you soon on Visible Banking.